Welcome and welcome back to the channel, guys. Real quick, real quick. <clears throat> All right, guys, I have this 2010. Y'all recognize this center console. It's a caravan. Um, as you can see, the lights on ABS and traction control light. All right, guys, now from my understanding, this guy, uh, here we go again, guys, came from another shop. And I think it's one of his buddies' shop where they, you know, they do the work themselves. I have no problem with that, guys. I mean, if you can find a way, hey, kudos to you if you can fix these vehicles and uh, save yourself some money. The only problem you're going to run into, guys, uh, is the, what I'm talking about, the ABS light on. They think they, I think they just had the ABS module replaced. What I'm speaking about is the procedures that come along with plate replacing certain modules. OK, yes, guys, most module, especially brand new, will have to be reprogrammed. Now, I say brand new. I don't know what they put on this one. Um, in fact, I need to go. I want to know before I even go inside what's what's on here. But my point is, guys, if you're unable to complete the job, should you even start it? I mean, you can save yourself money, I guess, by installing the part so you can eliminate the labor costs from, you know, the huge shops. All right, but if you still just say if you got to tow your car from your facility to their facility, what did you gain from that? All right, what well, is tow bill? One hundred fifty, two hundred dollars. In some cases, that's what it costs to program a module or even replace a model, for that matter. So it's all about finagling numbers, man, and trying to find out what works best for you. But guys, it's only so far you can go without proper scan tools, and especially this case. Uh, ABS, let me tell you something about an ABS module, especially for a make the year making model like this. It has to be not so much program or reflash. That's the term y'all like to use a lot. ABS modules have to be initialized. Okay, that is a different task than reprogramming. Initializing means you basically typically marry the ABS module to the vehicle. Okay, so yes, there is a procedure. You have to go drive it. I have a video. I'll go watch this video right here where I had to initialize a challenger. I replaced the ABS module. And yes, it has to be initialized, not reprogrammed. So they brought it in saying we need to get our ABS module reflashed, reprogrammed. Oh, this wrong terminology. Um, but I understand customers don't know exactly. But uh, before I do anything, guys, now the suspense is killing me. I want to know. Uh, I want to know what kind of module actually under here. Let's take a peek before I even go. All right, guys. Hey, four liter V6. Same as uh, a lot of the caravans and the Pacific had these. Now, that's where the ABS module is, guys. From the look of that. Now, there's the hydraulic unit and the ABS module. You can replace them separately, independent of each other. You do not have to replace the hydraulic unit if you need only need an ABS module. So if you have an ABS module internal failure, yes, just replace the module. But that looks like a used ABS module, guys. It does not look new. So I don't even know if I'll be able to initialize it. Because if it's used, it's already initialized previous car. All right. Once you burn it, <laughs> once you initialize and marry it to a car, they do not want these modules being swapped around from car to car. So I don't know yet until I scan it, guys. So I'm about to go to my computer and scan this thing. All right. Y'all guys, stay tuned. Hold tight. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. All right, guys, I am back. Uh, yes, guys, I have this pulled up on the computer at the topology here. And as you can see, there's trouble codes in the ABS. Let's click on the ABS and go straight up to DTCs. And what we will find is, ta -da, yes, guys, uh, C2202 original VN mismatch. You know what that tells me? <laughs> this uh, ABS module has a VN already burnt into it. Okay, which means it's a used ABS module. Okay, and a U140E and plausible vehicle configuration data received. All right. It's not even matching up. Okay, we can't configure it. Configure. Now, there is a procedure you can try to go through uh, where you configure vehicle configuration. Okay, we'll try to marry all the modules together, but 
In fact, let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Uh, guided diagnostic right here, restore vehicle configuration. In fact, let's do that right quick. So basically what I'm doing is configurizing the whole entire bus network to match each other. Writing vehicle configuration data. This may take a few seconds. All right. Vehicle configuration program successfully. Now let's close this and go back to uh, it's updating the information. Let's go back to DTC. It's still here, guys. Okay, let me clear it. And I just cleared the codes. Now let's go out of here. So it's gone now, but when I turn the key on, it may return. In fact, let me go cycle the key. Hold tight. All right, guys. So in the process of cycling the key and turning back on, guess what showed back up? Same two fault codes. Now, this is what I was talking about, miscellaneous ABS initialization. This is what you do when you get a new empty ABS module. Okay, so in fact, let me click that. It's probably, I want to see, will it even let me, let me initialize it. Continue. Yeah, see this negative response? That's because it's already initialized, but it's initialized to another car. So this won't work, guys. I guess the moral of the story is, let's go back over to the car. All right, guys, it's official. Uh, I have no choice. I have to let them know that this used module they just installed is worthless. Okay, they will forever have that ABS light on because it's not. And guys, keep in mind, ABS modules is likely on KNC bus network. That is the most important one, guys. That could kill the bus network and cause you to have a no start. So you don't really want to play around with any modules on KNC bus. Okay, so only thing I can do now is recommend a brand new ABS module. They may figure, well, I don't want to pay for y'all to put it on. I mean, you put it on. It don't matter. You know, can you drive it once you put it on without it being initialized? Sure. You can drive it back to the place that will initialize and then you can go that route. That's one of your options, but I can't tell people what to do. Uh, I will write up an estimate. I don't know what the numbers will be when I'm done with the estimate. Okay. But that's where we at, guys. So I'm going to end this video until he figure out what he's going to do. Guys, that's all I have. Thanks for watching. Come and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video.